Welcome to this week's Open Thread. Now usually I don't try to use these things as a way to just complain about a thing. I usually like talking about some topical topic that is, uh, you know, popular for the week or whatever, but this one is just pure hatred. I am talking about these guys. These are the all-dressed Ruffles, right? And, and Ruffles said, hey, we're gonna take the Canadian favorite and bring it over to America. And, and you would assume that it was the same chip. They say, even on the bag, it's a Canada's favorite fucking flavor or whatever. And we wouldn't have even known this. We would have just eaten these chips and went, ah, they're, they're all right, I guess. And we would have thought, ah, well, I guess Canada's weird. They like bland chips. But we just so happened to get a bag of those uh, from one of our subscribers in Canada as part of a fan package. Those chips were absolutely delicious. The Canadian ones have a have a flavor that just punches you in the mouth. It is strong and delicious. These things are fucking weak and sad. How dare you try to say those are all dressed. Those are not the Canadian all dressed. That is not correct. It is like half dressed at most. It's like Donald Duck, it just has a shirt on. There's no pants. So basically my question to you guys, what product have you tried that supposedly from another country that you've had the original version and you found out they're lying to you? This must be a thing that happens with all kinds of products, right? If Ruffles is doing it with these stupid chips, they must be doing it with other things. We must expose, expose these people for their lies. All right, let's do some shout outs. Thomas Gorey, how you doing? Amy Cohen with the fist bump emoticon. Shout out to Tim Vincent, Shane Neshaw out in England, and a shout out to Big Rain Rain, because his icon is a sloth. That's all I got for this week, guys. Thanks for your comments, and thanks for watching.